I am just testing out what I can do with a, <clears throat> I guess it's a 50 cent sheet of <coughs> poster board from the Dollar Tree. First of all, I really do like this blue color. It's not bad. And then I bought two black ones. Now there are disadvantages of poster board, but they can be turned into advantages. So one of the things about poster board is it has a white core, right? So what happened here is I cut out on my Cameo. Let me see if I can bring that up on my screen. Yeah, so let me go ahead and I've been, I had a whole, I put a whole sheet of it in and I've been uh, doing various uh, cuts with it. See that cut up in the corner, which is really tiny not very big. First thing I cut out were all of these um, frame frames or edgers or whatever I want to use them for. And then I put it into, I, I lined them all up and put them into an embossing folder, which I don't have handy at the, at the time. And then I just laid these flat. Can't find a flat space on my work surface just now. But what I do is, <laughs> see if it's flat. Yeah, I lay it down flat, like so. And with a, an emery board, I just, we'll see if I can do this holding up. I just use my finger and lightly rub along the raised areas, which of course turns white because of the core. But that then makes a really neat um, edger or whatever you want to use it for. And here was that one I showed you in the corner. And yeah, there's a couple of little white spots. The other thing I have found is my uh, Derwent, whoops, ink tents. Oops, let me see. Derwent ink tents pencil. Made in England. I love these. This is my favorite go to called Sea Blue. Is pretty close match. So if something comes out white that I don't want, uh, one thing I found as my cut setting it, that's best for me on my Cameo 4 is chipboard, but only one pass because it, when the blade goes through the second time, it reveals more white than I want. So, uh, and I also up the blade to seven. So I set it at chipboard, but I changed the blade setting. This is the auto blade to seven, and then I make it one pass. I've tried a couple of things with more than one pass. They didn't work out as well. Matter of fact, you get a, uh, it, it can create a mess. Now, I've been making this, <laughs> I found this video on YouTube, and, I, and so I've been using, I wanted to see, so this is a 12 by 12 piece of the, car, of the uh, poster board. And I found this French girl who who learned how who displayed how to fold to make a certain number of folds. Let's see if I can say this right. For a certain number of uh, of um, score lines, and then a couple, actually two, uh, cut lines. So what I did is I fed the 12 by 12, actually it was a little bit longer, that's why I've got some shorter pieces, but anyway. And what happens is you fold them in such a way, by the way, this piece, this front was blue, like, like the blue here, and I laid down a piece of white, thin cardstock, and this piece was cut by the Cameo. And this is only, I want to say, three by four, so it's really not, not very big. So it cut a beautiful job. But where it did show white, if you place this on a white background, you really don't see the bits that turned white. But if you place, if you wanted to uh, color them, I found that this Derwent C Blue 1200 ink tents, you just, you just wet a little brush. I use these, um, Water watercolor brushes. You just take it off, 
take it across the tip and I think this was the pool of little color that I was using right there and you add it and it, it does um, pretty much cover up any white spots that you might not want from the uh, core showing through on a cut. However, you can turn those that possible negative into a positive if you use embossing folders. You can just take this, as I sh said before, take this emery board, gently reveal the white, which is kind of cool. So I've been playing around with it. This is what a piece, this is the piece, let me see if I can back up, that I used. And I tried different cut settings, and some work better than others. But the best one so far was not a double cut. Using the chipboard, I raised the blade by seven. I'm using the very thin mat, but it's very sticky that I got with my Cameo. As you can see, pieces are still left on the mat that I haven't cleaned off. Um, but it, this is the th a thinner mat, I think, than others that I have with my older Cameo that I'm still using. But anyway, um, I love cutting these little borders and having them on hand for when I need them. Anyway, uh, for, 50, for 50 cents, as I said, I don't even know, I don't know the full size of those poster boards. I never haven't really measured them, but I could get plain blue, you know, 8.5 by 11. I could cut it 12 by 12. I can do a lot of things with it for 50 cents and maximize the disadvantage that the core can be easily, the white core can be easily revealed for decorative purposes. It cut fairly detailed. I, I don't think I could get too much smaller, but this piece here, I just did. And let me see if I can show you how that looks on the back of this little booklet, which I haven't finished playing with. Uh, it just is perfect. Look how pretty that is. And I haven't glued it down, but it cut really, really well and did not. See, there's a tiny, nope, there's not. I thought that was a bit of white core showing, but it really isn't. It's a, sh a shadow. Anyway, uh, this one cut beautifully and easily. One pass. I'm not even sure. I think this is the right side and that was the wrong side, but look at how beautiful that is. And this is just a three maybe three and a quarter at the most and four inch length three and a quarter maybe width and four inch length so and i still have some core left on this one sheet part of a sheet and the rest of this I, like i said i just cut this sheet i have it laying on there on the floor so i have tons of it left over um but you can see the core uh one of the things let me see if i can get a an example of that. Yeah, the one of the bad things is, is if you use tape, this is what happens to the edges. You have to be careful. But you could actually use that to your advantage as well. You know, run a bit of tape along there and yank it off and get this core revealed. And it in itself uh, could become a pattern. I made this little flower by uh, pinching so it would create ridges. And then using the emery board again to sand it back. So this is just a few ideas of what can be done with very cheap, very inexpensive. And it comes in a bunch of different colors at the Dollar Tree. It's a poster board. It's very large. Um, cuts with a chipboard setting for me at the blade up to seven and only one pass. And you can see uh, some of these cuts didn't work for me. See how it reveals? I don't know what, why it didn't cut properly here. I have no idea. I was just sticking some little previously designed. They cut nicely over here, but not here. And I, I'm not even sure why. Maybe there was some bumps underneath on the mat. Sometimes that interferes with the cut. I know I'm all over the place here. But anybody that's interested in knowing what you might be able to do with a poster board, uh, there's some ideas of how to turn the negatives into positives. 
Yeah, I think we could actually tear some of that blue off, expose the white, and uh, actually, if you cut tape, <laughs> if you cut maybe masking tape into shapes, taped it on the poster board and then lifted it, you might even get a, a cleaner removal. I don't know. I haven't tried that one yet. There's lots of things go on in my mind. Okay, so uh, ways to use the white core, ways to color the white core up, uh, different settings of the Cameo 4, and embossing folders that uh, enable you to add an interesting uh, take by exposing that core. Let's see, this one here, did I not do that one? Yeah, I did this one too, but it was on the wrong side. Well, there you go. All right, poster board, two very large sheets for a dollar, and lots can be done.